Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Bebom.com and at the start of 2019 we did an ultimate fast charging battle and well that was quite fun and now 2019 is coming to an end. So we thought why not do another fast charging test to find out the fastest charging phones of 2019. Well, it's time for the ultimate fast charging battle. But before we start, let me tell you that this video has been sponsored by Capes, which makes good looking and high quality skins for phones, laptops, consoles and more. I'll talk more about Capes skins later on, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's get to charging these phones. Okay, so we have seven phones in this charging battle. We have the iPhone 11 Pro, which comes with an 18 watt USB-C fast charger. And yeah, it's the first fast charger in the history of iPhones. We have the Pixel 4 with its usual 18 watt USB power delivery charger. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus with its 25 watt adaptive fast charger. The OnePlus 70 Pro with its 30 watt warp charger. The standard ROG Phone 2 with its 18 watt quick charge 4.0 charger. The Realme X2 Pro with its insane 50 watt super Wook charger. And lastly, the Redmi K20 Pro with its 18 watt quick charge 4.0 charger. Yeah, these are a lot of phones. And as you must have noticed, we're using the inbox chargers that came with these phones. And I will be doing two tests a 0 to 100% charging test and a 15 to 100% charging test and well the results are pretty surprising so I'll suggest you to stay tuned till the very end to make sure you know everything about the fast charging phones. Now let's get to the first test. Okay so here are all the phones set up and I have drained the battery from all of them so they are all at 0%. Well let's begin the charging, here we go. So as you can see the Realme X2 Pro is obviously racing ahead after just 12 minutes the X2 Pro has already reached 50%. Yeah, that is crazy fast. I mean, the closest phone to the X2 Pro is the OnePlus 70 Pro, which is at 31%, followed by the Note 10 Plus and everyone else. Anyway, as I expected, the Realme X2 Pro does not really take long to hit the 100% mark. It's a 50 watt charger we're talking about, so I kind of expected that. In just 30 minutes, the phone went to 100%. Yeah, 30 minutes is just crazy fast charging speed. I love it. In comparison, the OnePlus 70 Pro is closest at around 70%, followed by the Note 10 Plus at 50%, while the rest of the phones are further behind in the 20s and 30s. Moving on, after 45 minutes, the OnePlus 70 Pro is still leading at 92% battery, and the Note 10 Plus is kind of closing up at 80% charge. Others have picked up as well, but yeah, they're still far behind. The ROG Phone 2 is the slowest right now, but hey, for a 6000 mAh battery, that is impressive. Anyway, we charged these phones further and the 70 Pro hit the 100% mark at around an hour. And what's impressive to see is that the Note 10 Plus is at 97%. I mean, it's impressive because it has picked up its speed after a really slow start. The K20 Pro is also well placed at 82%. The Note 10 Plus obviously got to 100% next, after which it was a little bit of a wait, since the rest of the phones take their sweet time between 90 to 100. The K20 Pro hit full charge at 1 hour 35 minutes and well, I'd say it's decent enough. Others are in the 90s and as you can see the ROG Phone 2 has moved ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro. Anyway, Pixel 4 hit the 100% mark at around 2 hours followed by the ROG Phone 2 at 2 hours 4 minutes. The iPhone 11 Pro came last even with a fast charger hitting the 100% mark at 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now think about this, the iPhone 11 Pro has around a 3000 mAh battery while the ROG Phone 2 has doubled the battery. Yeah, that was pretty fun. But before we move on to the second test, a huge shout out to Capes for sponsoring this video. Capes makes some great skins and this is the white marble skin on the iPhone 11 Pro and as you can see, it looks pretty good. And it's not just this though. Capes offers a variety of cool skins as you can see. And I like the fact that you can customize your phone with different skins for your camera's back, the camera module, logo and even the charger, it's pretty cool. Then there's the fact that these skins use high quality 3M materials which will not leave any residue behind, so that is great. Cape skins are available for almost all popular phones, laptops, headphones and more at prices starting at just Rs 4.99, so honestly, what are you waiting for? Check out Cape skins from the link in the description below. Well, this is a test that's more related to a real life situation. Your phone gets to 15%, you get the battery low notification and you put it to charge. So how long does it take? Okay, so all of these phones are at 15%, so let's see how it goes. Well, obviously, the Realme X2 Pro is crazy fast in this situation as well, hitting the 50% mark in just 8 minutes. Yeah, 8 minutes. This is the charging I want on every single flagship phone. Yeah, make it happen, smartphone makers. Well, the OnePlus 70 Pro is obviously second, but the Note 10 Plus is also close, unlike the first test where it started off slow. Other phones are not far behind too, which is nice to see. 
Moving on, the Realme X2 Pro hit the 100% mark in just 27 minutes. Yeah, that is super cool. And look at this, the OnePlus 70 Pro and Note 10 Plus are going neck to neck at 75%. All the phones have also hit the 50% mark except the ROG Phone 2. So yeah, it seems like they charge faster when they're not dead at 0%. Well, moving forward, things got pretty intense. At 45 minutes, the OnePlus 70 Pro is in the lead at 95%, while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus follows at 92%. The Pixel 4 and iPhone 11 Pro are tied at 77% and the K20 Pro is just a little ahead at 80%. Yeah, intense. Well, the OnePlus 70 Pro hit the 100% mark in 57 minutes, which is really good. And interestingly, the Note 10 Plus also fully charged in just a minute more. So yeah, the 25 watt adaptive fast charge of the Note 10 Plus is pretty good and comparable to the 30 watt warp charger on the OnePlus 70 Pro. Well, next up, the K20 Pro hit the 100% mark in 80 minutes. And while the Pixel 4 was close at 94%, it took another 20 minutes to get to 100%. Yeah, things really slowed down in the 90s. Now you can see something interesting, right? Yes, the ROG Phone 2 has again taken over the iPhone 11 Pro and that too with its standard 18 watt quick charge 4.0 charger, not the 30 watt hyper charge charger that comes in the highest end variant. Well, quite expectedly, the ROG Phone 2 beat the iPhone 11 Pro by fully charging in 140 minutes. The iPhone 11 Pro took another 10 minutes. Now, two hours is decent in regards to iPhone standards, but yeah, it's not even close to the competition. Anyway, I also did a screen on 15 to 100% charging test uh, for all those people who like to use their phones while they're charging it. And the results were very similar to what you got with the screen off charging test that we just did. So yeah, there's that. So ultimately, we have our winners of the ultimate fast charging battle 2019. The Realme X2 Pro is the best phone if you just want insane fast charging. I think it's the biggest feature of the X2 Pro. Second is the OnePlus 70 Pro with its warp charge tech and I think it's pretty good. The Note 10 Plus is a close third and that is with its bundled 25 watt charger. I'm sure it'll blow away the competition with its 45 watt charger. The Redmi K20 Pro is fourth, the Pixel 4 is at fifth and the ROG Phone 2 at sixth. But you know what? The ROG Phone 2 deserves the fourth spot because if you do a little math, you can see that the ROG Phone 2 charges faster than even the K20 Pro. So yeah, I'll give the fourth spot to the ROG Phone 2. It deserves it. And at the end of it all, the iPhone 11 Pro is at the last spot. And that reminds me of a 2018 fast charging battle. Followed by the very obvious, spectacular loser, the iPhone 10. Although it took less than three hours this time, so I guess we can call it a win. Well, the iPhone 11 Pro, even with a fast charger, is still a spectacular loser. So that was fun, right? And I think 2020 will be even more awesome because we already have 50 watt and 65 watt chargers in 2019. And I'm hoping that in 2020, we'll have 100 watt chargers that charge the phone in like 15 minutes or 10 minutes. And hopefully we'll get some graphene battery smartphones as well. Well, what do you think? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.